they don't really have much and on Beatrix oh, and Estes. Wow. Interesting oh. choice. I would expect maybe wow. even the floor end to be better. You're up against the game time. But Lanaya is already oh. on the way to level 5. Okay, so what? First blood with the help of Shakao will occur top side. It seems like they're one united now. Will they commit to a fight quite though? Cheeky Petrify in the back claims a kill as well. And Naya now caught. Shield Unity as a defense. And things are looking oh, no. and started as a neutral objective. So Sujin has a little bit better grip. But it looks like Lanaya wants to go for a contest. With the help of Hard Guard, Sitsujin though will still prevail in that red trade. Last inside any pops. And also Blessing of the Moon Goddess will not be able to help Sitsujin. He will be taken out. Dixon flickering away. Fluffy now Ooh. trying to find the kill, but he will be taken out. That's a huge dub for Dewa United, claiming the turtle and getting two kills. A massive dub, I would say, for Dewa United. What's not massive? Oh, 1v1 up top! Oh, this time! It wasn't just a random 1v1. It was a dive from Doma. Making Watt enter his domain as we see this is what I expected from this matchup. The Bruno to have a bit of an advantage. Oh my god, without the heal, it seems like they will commit, worldie. but they failed! Doma with the worldie now on towards the members of Dewa. Sutsujin looking for decimation. Finds one, Lanaya. Good night. Oh, in no. the backside. Bright with the Petrify finds a two man knockup. And there you go. One, two, three. Oh, man, Evo's legends have really found their groove here oh. with their new lineup. They have to be careful though. Lanaya wants to take it away. Petrify was spent. Bright now caught. Does he have enough resources? Blessing of the Moon Goddess now will help quite sustain, but in the back side, Last Insanity will not do anything as Lanaya was taken down. Want no cover whatsoever. He gets taken out by Kright. Evo's a legend. Oh. Adding another kill on the board as Shaco. And I think it also depends on whether or not Evo's legends have respected the damage coming from Keys as oh. Oh, Lanaya getting very aggressive. They found Oma. But Keys will find the kill! They collapse Sutsujin and Van Strong. He will lose immortality. Van Strong with the Winter Truncheon. But it is no effect. He will still fall as another member here. This time from Dewa United. Shaco will fall as well. As it's going to be 3 for one Dewa United. They have found the comeback. 10,000 gold lead. But why is it that... They haven't oh. been able to capitalize over it. Look at that raw damage from Dixon. Oh, so Tsuji now is low. Will he be able to contest uh -oh. Blessing of the Moon Wait. Goddess now? Committed. Boom, bang, bada bang, Tsuji in the backside. Even Doma gets caught. Evo's Legends will not be able to find the lore take without Doma. Dewa United Esports will definitely. Oh, good timing by Vantron. Oh, that gave me a heart attack. <laughs> Base turret number one will fall on Naya. Okay, awkward opening. Blessing of the Moon Goddess though popped. That's information. And Last Insanity will pop and loses Isuzujin's immortality. Winner Truncheon as well. Fluffy though with the first one to fall. And there you go. The patience by the Apostles of God. It seems like Wait. they are opening up the base. But Evo's Legends, they're still holding on. And this time, it's just three members defending. Will they have enough firepower? 60 on Sutsujin, 55 on Fluffy. Dewa United, they still are looking to close the gap as the wave in the mid has come crashing down. Right? Suppression with a winner's run, but the base is just a little bit too exposed, seems like. And this is Dewa United finding game one, surely. Evo yeah, you have to understand that with the Minotaur, the bravest fighter goes through. It's an anti cease Oh, I... Oh man, it's Wait, uh. Is it usually lethal ignition for Kadita? Yeah, uh, it's, it's just for the burst. The lethal ignition is still the answer. I think Kryt also went for the lethal ignition last game. The only difference here, oh, oh, Petrify connects, taunt as well, and with the crowd control, that technically it's a 50-50, but it looks like Evil's Legends have better grip and better. Oh, there you go, Fluffy. Penalty zone on towards three. It's stolen now, though. Let's say Derrickson with the bravest fighter. One member, Lanaya, will be taken out. Dixon in the backside will deal damage, but the turtle will comfortably be taken by Sutsujin. Kright will use the Fricker as Dixon will be taken care of. That's a huge dub again for the White Tigers. What a statement, though, already. Whoa. What do you 64%. Mean? For <laughs> ASG.
Man, Domo already getting a lot of that gold shield turret. Oh, Petrify connected. Mystic Gush early. Cancel early. Haze with the angle. A flank. Oh. And Van Strong will be taken down. Good shutdown. Now Sutsujin enters the fray as well. It seems like now Evos Legends couldn't find the right approach. Idewa United. the GDS in the mid game. Evos might actually struggle with that because they don't really have anyone who can fully lock him down with the Purify and the Heavy Crossbow. Oh, great! Good night! That was a good pickoff by Dewa United and Evos Legends. They're a man down with the neutral objective up. Top side though, Doma. Fed. Uh, getting the gold shield plate, but now Bravest Fighter pops. Penalty zone as well. On towards the line. Oh, Petrify, but Tsutsujin will calmly find their retry. They will collapse. Tsutsujin now stunned. Damage is there. A Prisoner's Wrath dealing not enough damage. He will be taken out alongside with Chaco. They were united. Good response. Seems like Evil oh, Legends. Tsutsujin has a level advantage here. I think they definitely want to take this for themselves, but Lanai is looking for the contest. Empty zone on towards Nixon, who is still able to flicker out of the way. Wow. Sutsujin will take the turtle, and Lanaya caught isolated in the front lines. Will be taking the enemy jungler. And right now, oh, it's an opening from Dewa. Okay, good connection. And Fluffy now taking some heat. Oh, good penalty zone. Purify popped. Fluffy survives though. Chaco quite low in the back side. It's going to be Keys targeted down and Keys taken out. And Dixon will fall next as well as it's a good fight for Evos Legends. What? Petrified and he gets taken out by Tsutsujin. Wow. The combination of Evos Legends finally worked. 4 a 0 trade. Uh, on the somehow, some way, they make it work. Let's see though. Seems like the mid base turret now will be targeting Naya. Inside the lead with the worldy, I believe. And there you go, base turret number one taken out. Back passive. An inhibitor turret in the top side of Sujin. Okay, good. Onward, Sujin caught. Fluffy. Penalty zone on towards three though. Seems like Van Strong looking for an angle with the conceal. Finds the petrify, but bursts it down with the help of Shaco. No, they can't. You're All not three waves are approaching. You're not asking the right questions, man. Why does a surfer have boots? <laughs> All right, now let's say the Lord are marching in the mid lane. Lanaya knocked up. Airborne, the connection will Ooh. fall. He will be the first one to fall. Let's take a look at the collapse. One by one, the members of Dewa United struggling to find the damage as Eve the Legends. They managed to find an answer. They need an answer towards the Farsa in the back line as they don't really have much to die before they surround the turtle. That's Sutsu Jin. Very aggressive power stance as Lanaya goes in again. Quicker penalty zone popped now. The damage isn't really there, but take a look at Dixon dealing damage. Lanaya claims Sutsu Jin as both junglers now taken out. Dixon should be the next target here as Fluffy and Van Trong will help right there to pop that feather air strike. But the Bloody Hunt will lock Van Strong down and will take him down. Chatko, quite low, taken out as well. That was a very long fight, two for two at the end of the, the day. The turtle. Okay, Lanaya, he's now alone with the help of Dixon. Stunned, Iron Hook missed. Lanaya terrified as well, Sitsujin claims the turtle, right? In the back side though, will be, yeah, will be all in. All the damage to come through, he starts, tries to survive. Shaco will fall as well as Dixon, as Evos Legends has more say in the difference, right? You mentioned about that EXP lane, but wait a minute, the top side, Doma getting caught very low, what? Oh my god, torn upon memory with the help of Kays, though! We'll oh. deal more damage and take a look at the talents. How long has it been since all the talents were in agreement with it, something, but that's wrong. Flicker, bloody hunt. And as well as Kays. Doma has been rotated down below. Van Strong again, he yells Lanaya. Chill Unity on towards Lanaya. The damage, will they be there? Feather airstrike popped as well. Flicker, Ooh. penalty zone was huge. Dixon catching Van Strong and as well as Quiet off. So already quite a delay as Watt is just styling right now on turrets with this build. Oh, Feather airstrike early, bloody hunt as well as Quiet awkward positioning. Fluffy now in the area, trying to deal damage as well with the help of Hardguard, but it seems like the damage will not be enough. Torn apart memory just to clear the if way. He has the wish, if he gets this win of nature now, then I honestly don't even feel like Fluffy can threaten the back. Oh, the conceal play as wow. well. Good catch 
in the backside and say goodbye to Doma. Sutsu Jin now in the front, taking damage, gets taken down as well as Fluffy, with the help of Hardguard here, will not be able to find a play as he is ganged by five members. He will survive though, and that's, they're banking on Chaco getting a hook. They got it to with a flicker hole. as well. Suppression connects, and Sutsu Jin will fall. Fluffy though will distract as well as the side of Krite, uh, but it seems like the damage won't be enough. All that what? wonder Krite gets taken out, Van Strong gets taken out. What the will fall? But it seems like with Doma alone, they are united. Looks to crack the base. Doma, can he make the play here? 20, 17 seconds on Sutsujin. But it seems like the firepower will be more than enough. They are united. Finds the win against the White Tigers. The gods, a smile over. Dewa United today not be able to win a victory against Evo's Legends so far. They are still able to win. They are rewriting history. A 2-1 to one victory sending Evo's Legends further down in the brackets. Possibly an opportunity for Evo's not to make it to the playoffs this season. They're ninth place, Eterna. People were riding out Alter Ego when they were ninth. Now, Evos will have to take that. Ninth place, Mike. That good power spike. And the fact that he survived for so it's just it's just what things at this point, right? Woo -wee. What he's able to do? Like, what in the world is that mechanic, bro? Big moments, what? big impact. Oh, you're talking he's about Dixon. Big Dixon. I'm talking about what he was. He was my personal player uh. of the game there, but yeah, I, I agree. Player of the match, Dixon. 14-minute game. How did they change so quickly? Game number one was mm. like Dewa or Dewa. Dewa. I, I honestly think draft game one and two. It was more so the especially game one execution. They played it patient. They didn't go for random team fights after they were behind 12,000 gold, right? They still believed they had a chance in the game. Meanwhile, for game three, it's completely different. I think for Dewa, they had the proper draft. Like I said, all the way from the start, I actually thought they had the advantage, right? Uh, these winning lanes, the answers to a lot of the pressure the Evos went for, I really didn't like the Beatrix pick into the Farsa. Ah. And the Brody. He it was into a Brody. It's a, it's a matchup that you don't really have an advantage on. You can clear, but yeah. I would actually say Beatrix has a better chance against Bruno than Brody. And in this game, we definitely saw that. Look at the gold difference between the two gold laners. 0-2-0 and a 3-0-5 stat line. The win of nature completed four items for a Watt. Meanwhile, Domo only had two. By the time the Win Nature was built, that four item power spike for uh, Watt, Doma only had a BOD and a Malefic Roar. And I think this is the real reason as to why we don't see Fury Hammer build up that early anymore for the Beatrix. You need that BOD to be able to hold your ground against a lot of these bully gold laners nowadays. And if you get that BOD late, you also have kind of limited yourself. You've bottlenecked yourself in that lane. You're forced to then rotate down below to get some more uh, items because at, at this point, it's strange. It's strange. For damage, I honestly feel like for gold laners, full items are better than uh, the sub items. Very different to before. Before it was Steel Leg Plus, Fury Hammer, the battle of the sub items. Now it's the battle of full items. Who gets it quicker? 0% Doma. 0 to 0 oh, was his wow. time. What? Zero to zero was yeah. his stat. Zero, zero to zero? Mm -hmm. Yep. <laughs> oh, man. Poor guy. Ouchie. Right? Because, you know, let, let's talk about that. Because Doma made his debut yesterday. Two days ago. Two days ago. First game, and he got subbed out because he lost. For Brands, yes. yeah. And then today, we see that Evo's Legends are, you know what? Let's fully commit to this roster. Let's fully commit to Doma in the gold lane. And... That's the result we get? He won a game. He did win a game, so he cracked that already, right? And game number one, technically, it, it was a comeback, man. It was a full comeback. You can't fully blame.